Today we're gonna to do a little tour of my free satellite TV system. Now, if you're new to the idea of free satellite TV, free satellite TV is kind of like the satellite equivalent to receiving over the air channels with a TV antenna and digital converter box, except you use a satellite dish and a receiver and the uh, TV signals don't come from a local broadcast area, they're coming from outer space. The dishes you see here are smaller satellite dishes known as KU band satellite dishes. These are a little bigger than the dishes used for paid satellite services like Bell, DirecTV, and Dish Network. This dish here is a 39 inch KU band dish. And right now it's aimed at Satellite 103 West. Satellite 103 West carries the NBC channels along with Cozy TV. NHK World from Japan, as well as some other international channels. This dish here is aimed at Satellite 87 West, which carries a group of PBS channels along with some CNN news source feeds, as well as some other miscellaneous channels. This is a motorized KU band satellite dish, and this is controlled by voltage that comes from the receiver through the coaxial cable. It looks like a regular satellite dish, except on the back, there is a motor here that actually drives the dish back and forth, east to west, stopping at different satellites that I have it programmed for. And I use this motorized dish to check for feeds on satellite 91 West KU band. That's a good satellite if you like to see news feeds, live breaking news, unscripted television. And I also drive this dish over to Satellite 117 West. There's a group of free channels on there. I have it programmed to also stop at some of the satellites up here, 103 West, 87 West. And this one here, Satellite 125 West, this is actually a Shaw satellite dish. Shaw is a paid subscription satellite company in Canada, but their satellite dishes actually work as they are to receive free satellite TV. So I found this one for a good price on a want ad site in Canada called Kijiji. And the little head on the end of it here is the LNB. And that is uh, the, the, the exact kind of LNB you need to receive free satellite TV, a linear KU band LNB. So I have this dish aimed at satellite 125 West and that picks up a group of PBS channels. And it actually picks up two satellites because it's a slightly wider dish and the LNB inside there can actually pick up two satellites. It's a dual LNB. It actually picks up some signals from satellite 121 West, some dish network promo channels and stuff like that. So this motorized dish here is on its own. It's not connected to any other satellite dishes, but I have these three satellite dishes tied together using a special switch, which lets me combine all their signals into one cable to send to my receiver. All of those gray satellites I just showed you get combined together at this switch known as a dissect switch, which is sort of like the equivalent to a TV antenna combiner. It takes in the signals of several satellite dishes and combines them into one output cable that gets sent to your satellite receiver. And this switch is electronically controlled from commands at your receiver. And every time you change the channel, your receiver sends a command to this switch telling it which satellite to change to. And that happens really quick and seamlessly. It makes it a lot easier to have multiple satellites connected in your system. And the other dishes I have here are much bigger, way bigger. These are 10 foot C-band dishes and these receive a totally different band of satellite signal. These operate at a much lower frequency, and that means that the wavelengths for these signals are much bigger, and therefore they require a much larger dish in order to receive the signals. And this satellite dish is tuned to 103 West as well, except it's picking up the C-band channels on that satellite. And you can pick up channels like Court TV, Laugh, Grit, Bounce, Ion, Ion Mystery, Defy, True Real, Newsy. There's a whole bunch of free channels on that satellite. And this C-band dish over here is currently tuned to satellite 101 West C-band that has MeTV, Decades, Heroes and Icons, Movies, 
all of those classic Weigel digi nets. Those are free on Satellite 101 West C band. Now I have an unconventional way of mounting my C band dishes that I've shown in other videos. I built these wooden stands for my dishes with uh, treated lumber and I have very stable ground in my area. Nothing moves, nothing shifts around. And this has worked well over a few harsh Canadian winters and nothing has moved at all. I've never had to readjust this dish at all or the other one for that matter because of any ground shifting. And I also have a chain here on the back of these dishes just as a little extra safety measure. So that works for me. And this free satellite TV receiver is my daily driver, the Amico Mini HD265. This receiver is easy to use and set up and it also has a good tuner in it. It seems to pick up a few extra feeds and channels that other receivers can't always get. And I like this one because it allows me to also drive my motorized dish and also set it up to work with those dissect switches I showed you earlier, where you can combine several satellites into one cable. I have one of these in my garage and one of these in my living room, and they have been excellent receivers. So now we're here at the menu of our Amico Mini HD265 free satellite TV receiver. And one of the things about free satellite TV is that you have to blind scan channels in before you can watch them. This is very similar to running a channel scan with your over the air TV antenna. You have to scan channels into the TV before they're watchable. It's the same thing with satellite television. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the white button on my remote and run a blind scan here of satellite 97 West Galaxy 19. The satellite is famous for being the satellite that has all the international channels on it. And you saw that little message there that said moving dish. That is because I'm using my motorized KU band dish to get this satellite. And here come all the channels. There's quite a few TV and radio channels on here from all over the world, different languages, different religions. There's a few American channels on here as well. QVC shopping and positive. That's a family friendly movie channel. There's lots on this satellite. So you can see here on the bottom of the screen, the white numbers, those are transponders. Those are like little carrying packets that bring the channels to the receiver. And then up in the blue lettering, you see TV channels. Those are the channels coming in and then radio channels on the right side. And here are all those international channels from Galaxy 19. There's quite a few of them. This is the channel list we're looking at, or channel guide. And now back at the menu here, what I'll do is pick a different satellite on my motorized dish, and I'll just show you how it drives the satellite dish over to another satellite in the geostationary orbit. Here is the channel list for satellite 117 West KU band. These are all free channels that are on here. You also get these channels here, which are the BYU TV channels. Those are also free on this satellite. 
So that gives you an idea of some of the channels you can get on free satellite TV. Now you will get a lot of channels that are also available free over the air with a TV antenna. Like I said, you can get NBC, Cozy, PBS, Court TV, Laugh, Grit, Bounce, lots of DigiNets, but you'll also get channels that you can't get with a TV antenna. International channels, religious channels, as well as some oddball news feeds that you just won't see on regular TV. So that's a quick show and tell video of my free satellite TV system. If you're interested in learning more about free satellite TV or free TV in general, then check out my channel. I now have over 250 videos on there to help you get started in this great hobby.